welcome to priya's lecture today we will be discussing a simple topic called haptens the word hapten is derived from the greek word haptin which means to fasten going into the definition of haptens haptens are low molecular weight substances that lack immunogenicity but become immunogenic on combining with a large molecular weight protein called carrier okay haptens are low molecular weight substances they are incapable of inducing antibody formation it says it is lacking immunogenicity but react specifically with antibodies which is telling that it is antigeny that is it is possessing an antigenicity is antigenicity is present but uh, but immunogenicity is absent how haptens will become immunogenic when haptens combine with large molecular weight proteins called carrier it will become immunogenic okay there are two types of haptens complex haptens and simple haptens complex haptens contain two or more epitopes which is a polyvalent whereas simple haptens contain only one epitope it is univalent complex haptens they react with specific antibody and form hapten antibody complex this hapten antibody complex can be visualized by precipitation reactions simple haptens simple haptens can bind to antibodies but hapten antibody complex cannot be visualized because it is a non precipitating in nature simple haptens are non precipitating in nature so we cannot visualize the hapten antibody complex moving to the next topic epitopes epitope is the smallest unit of smallest unit of antigenicity it is also called as antigenic determinant it usually consists of four or five amino acids or monosaccharide residues okay okay and it usually possesses a specific chemical structure electrical charge or spatial configurations it is incapable of sensitizing an immunocytes but it react with complementary site of antibodies which is important okay it can react with a complementary site of Now antibodies. There are two types of epitope: linear epitope and conformational epitopes. Linear epitope uh, is also called as primary sequence or sequentials. It recognizes T cells. Whereas conformational epitopes are tertiary structure. It is a. It is usually formed by the folding of a linear into a. during ter in tertiary structures at that times and antigenic epitopes are brought to the surface okay by that uh, tertiary structure or conformational epitope is formed so it usually recognizes the t cells next paratopes the combining area of antibody molecule corresponding to the epitope consider this as a an ep epitope if an antibody comes and binds this this regions where an antibody combines with the epitope is called this is region is called paratope presence of same epitope on different antigens account for antigenic cross reactions thank you friends that's all if you have any query you can comment me okay